Hi this welcome welcome back to the channel Benny Don by Anna it's me Anna with you here today it was raining it's finishing to rain the whole entire day was cloudy and so ugly weather so we just uh, stayed at home basically and did things at home work from here and right now when it's almost sunny back again towards the evening I decided to make the video for you guys and it's about the best way and the cheapest way to book your holidays the small tricks that hotels here from Benidorm have and the discounts that they offer and when do they offer them it's something that I've been checking then that what I've seen by myself while I was working in a lot of the hotel chains here in the area um, which were either small or bigger hotel chains so this is my wisdom to all of you guys to get some money extra that you'll be able to spend on something else something worth like some souvenirs nice restaurants or any kind of excursions so today when and how is the best way to book the hotels here in Spain to save up to 35 or even 40 percent on your booking First of all, um, I want to say that a lot of people, especially I know that in UK, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because it's something that I have from my observations, but maybe that's not exactly how you see it. Um, a lot of people are interested in booking in advance. For example, I know people that are finishing their holidays right now and they are already booking for the same time at 2022, so next year. And this is something very, very good to do, especially before november december dates because in november all the hotels they have updated prices for next year already so if you book at these dates at the end of the year for the following year you will already pay the new prices which tends to be slightly higher than the ones that you have right now so if you book it in advance let's say the beginning of the year or mid-year you will still pay this year's prices for next year usually they are a lot more economic and a lot of the hotel chains what they do is they offer like early bird offer or book in advance early booking they call it in a different ways but basically it means the same thing which is that they give you a huge discount uh, only because you book it in advance for example I have here uh, the survey group hotels what they do is they give you between 10 and 35 percent if you book in advance depending on when you make your booking if it's like a year in advance they might give you up to 35 percent and if it's like six months in advance uh, five four months then they'll give you like 10 15 percent of discount Milliad hotel chain that you have here in Benidorm and in all other different areas what they do is they offer at least here up until 25% for early booking and the uh, magic hotels a lot of people were asking me about magic hotels here um, if I will be showing some of them let me know if you want me to show them to you because I know some people do but I just don't know how many people of you are actually interested in magic uh, chain here in Benidorm I've been working there so I know a lot things about this chain and I've been visiting all the hotels this was one of my um, jobs to get to know all the hotel chain all hotels a hundred percent to know what we offer so I know a lot about it this is why if you're interested I might be filming them next year just let me know in advance so that I will be able to contact them and magic offers you up until 20 percent if you do an early booking so at least six months or more in advance met player hotels they do offer up up till 20 percent discount if you book early a lot of these places what i need to say is that they offer uh, early bird let's call them like this discounts only when you book direct with them so if you do it um through any kind of agency the agency will apply you different discounts but it's not going to be early bird a lot of the hotel chains what they do to attract a person um, is offer some extras that you don't obtain through the agencies this is how the things work um, and a lot more of these um, extras I'll let you know slightly further in this video watch it until the end um, so this is basically what's happening uh, a lot of discounts for early bookings the earlier you book the more discount you get and the better price definitely you get on your hotel the next thing that a lot of the hotels offer is um, so-called friend cards they're called amigo card 
Um, basically, a lot of the hotels I've spotted that they're called more or less the same way. Like in Magic Chain, it's Amigo Card um, or Tarjeta Amigo, which is in Spanish. And there are different variations. The more nights you have already booked with them with your card, the more discount you obtain on your next booking. It's from 4% up until 10% if you like stayed with them more than 21 nights uh, in the last like two years. So it's a good discount, apart from discounts for a gym, for a spa, for massages and a lot of different extras. Um, Mid Playa, they also have the same Amigo card. Uh, it goes with points, basically. So the more you book with Mid Playa, the more points you get. And you can exchange these points for um, different things, like, for example, discount for your booking, direct booking only not through the agency once again um, then you can exchange it for uh, some drinks in the bar like discount on your bill you can exchange it on some discount for massages um, for different different services that they offer inside of the hotels um, so uh, like spa area so this is quite a good offer the amigo cards you can do them you don't need to book in advance you can register on the website uh, directly and it's like digital card okay at least in magic it's digital one previously they used to give cards a lot of people have them but not anymore last time even like three years ago almost they were not giving these cards already at hotel they were just being like electronic totally so a person had his username and a password to access through the official website to consult its details and get some discounts and make the booking through the website this is how it was working. Um, actually, a lot of these hotels, apart from these Amigo cards and apart from the discounts when you book in advance, like Early Bird, what they also have is periodically they put a lot of discounts online. So, for example, Magic, they like in Medplaya and Survey Group, they are very active on social media. They have Instagram, they have like, a, some of them even have YouTube, not all of them, but they start on that as well but almost all of them have Instagram and Facebook pages. So it's where they actually do everything and it's where they promote different specific things. For example, they say, for all people who are following us, we offer you like 10, 15% on Halloween. We offer you 10% extra on your booking for Christmas or for next summer or um, one child travels free, like things like this, you know? And they announce it through their social media, especially Magic Chain is very very active in facebook they put a lot of offers there as well so bear that in mind check there and just put online for example um survey group hotel uh, voucher or survey group hotel discount code and there'll be a lot of websites that will show you different codes just check them one by one and see which one is valid like this you can save up some money as well the next thing is when it's um the best time to book here in Spain. So how do the prices prices, and how is the pricing actually working here? How it changes? I want to say that uh, all the hotels, they have specific plans. So it's the system is not like artificial intelligence. Okay. It does not see that, oh, okay, there are a lot of people looking right now. So we need to put the price up or oh, there are like no one look, no one is looking for the apartment. We need to put some offer down. No. It does not work like this. Everything works with people. There are people in the um, reservations department. There are people at the hotel who are in charge of this. And they are the ones who create the prices. What basically happens is that for each month uh, and for different seasons, there are prices established. Usually, uh, if you are coming on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's going to be slightly cheaper than if you would be coming on weekend. The same is happening with festive days, with Halloween, with July, end of July and August, for example, and first week of September, which are the highest prices of all. Um, and like different other festive days, Easter, um, New Year, etc. Uh, if they see that there are a lot of spots left just yet for the holiday and the hotel is almost empty, then they put a very aggressive offer online, just publishing a huge discount. But if not, normally they are just having normal prices with nothing extra or nothing like uh, too cheap for people to book. Uh, before, a lot of people used to say that, oh, okay, well, on Sunday, I've checked it on Sunday, it was uh, slightly 
like less expensive then i've checked it on monday it's slightly more expensive it's not because of the date when you check it although it might depend for some of the areas the hotels that i used to work it did not depend on this it basically depends that the week changes or the season or the week changes and they are expecting some certain occupancy for these dates and which is why the prices are different so it just it does not mean that it's just uh, a lot of people were booking this is why it's like more expensive no it's just there is a specific plan for prices that are inside of system they're established so um if you check the price on one day it might be different than on the other day so people who used to work at the hotel we always used to recommend to uh, travelers to book it as soon as you see a good and reasonable price because if you wait until tomorrow to call or to send an email or to do it online, you might lose this price and there's not going to be any other one just because you did not make the booking on time. So you need to bear that in mind as well. Uh, prices change uh, almost like every two weeks or um, even slightly less. The prices do change in the price calendar at every hotel. So be careful with that. Good price, reasonable price. Book it because if not, you might lose it. And then the hotel will not put that price back again, probably. Uh, also, if there was a study made here in Spain in one of the statistics uh, institutes here, which is INEM, which is National Institute of Statistics. What they said, they've calculated when is the best time to book. And they said exactly the same thing as the one I'm telling you, which is between four and six months in advance. You usually get the best booking price for your holiday here in Spain. Um, also, those of you, I know a lot of people are booking with Jet2 holidays or are booking with like TUI UK, um, a lot of other tour operators that are organizing not only flights, but also the hotel itself and maybe even car rental insurance and a lot of different extras that you might get. Uh, so what is happening with that one? First of all, um, hotels itself, they usually cannot put aggressive offers online because it might kind of seem that they are in a bad position they desperately need clients so it might um, make the image worse than it is uh, which is why they don't usually launch this unless they are actually desperate what they do is even though they cannot offer uh, such a low prices um, directly what they do is they offer these prices through the agency so usually not always once again but usually the packs the flight plus hotel tends to be way cheaper than if you would book it separately which is a good thing for a lot of people because they will be able to obtain some extra value for the money they're not spending on the hotel and can spend on something else um but i want to say that also these companies even though they offer like one child for free or two children travel for free or one free and 50 percent discount on the other uh, like on um, a lot of different offers um, the majority of people are still booking with hotels directly and not taking the packages for several very very important reasons that you just need to know first of all because uh, hotels also have huge offers they have offers for numerous families so like uh, two adults plus like starting from three children uh, they offer monoparental rooms, which is basically one of the adults plus the child or several children. They offer for solo travelers as well, quite good discounts every now and then. Um, children for free in a lot of the hotels, especially in Magic Chain, Med Playa, I've seen it as well. Server Group uh, also have every now and then some specific offers. Um, so they have a lot of offers. Also, the best thing is that when you book with a hotel directly or hotel chain, doesn't matter. What you have is a direct service. Hotels tend to offer a lot of discounts, a lot of things. For example, um, if you need to make any kind of change to your booking, if you need to move dates, cancel it, if you need to do something, it's way, way uh, easier to contact directly the hotel here in Spain, either by chat that they have, some of them have on the website, um, or by calling or by email. It's something that you know it's a direct uh, person who's in charge of your booking. Um, and you can solve things just in a matter of minutes. Um, when you do it with the agency, 
especially if you booked online, it's numerous phone numbers. You don't know where to call, whom to ask. They pass you from one person to the other. And it's just very, very stressful. A lot of people don't need that, basically, while planning their holidays, which is why they check uh, it with the hotel directly. And I've had a lot of clients like this in Magic Hotels and a lot of others who were calling to the hotel and were basically saying that, I cannot, I know it's not you, I know I've booked with the agency, but I just cannot get a hold of them. I need to resolve this issue, please help. But we could not do anything because it's a booking that came through the agency, so we cannot really touch it. As much as we would like to help these people, we normally were not able to do anything. Or we were just able to contact with the agency directly and say that this person is trying to contact them. Um, and give them his email or phone number or anything but it's just very very time consuming and stressful for the traveler so this is why sometimes it's just the best to book it directly with the hotel also what do they offer they can offer you a free transfer a lot of the hotels in Benidorm do that right now to um, attract some more direct clients uh, so they offer you direct transfers to and from Alicante airport which is express shuttle normally with just a few stops like up until four stops or they offer you transfer up until Alicante train station depends where you need to go um, they might offer you a safety deposit box free of charge only if you book it with them directly once again they have specific discounts as well and these amigo like friendly cards that give you extra discounts that you cannot use with the agency they might offer you a free parking they might offer you a free spa session uh, or a massage if it's like specific occasion like christmas or san valentine's day and things like this so they offer you a lot of things um, which is actually worth thinking uh, you just need to compare the prices what the agency is offering you at this very moment with what the hotel offers you and all the extras that you would get if you book directly and also think if there is an option that you will have some issues and you will need to change the dates or modify something in your booking if it is the case book directly with the hotel because it will be a lot easier trust me and the last thing that i wanted to let you know is something that not a lot of people know about only those who have been tightly working with hotels or traveling a lot it's when what happens if for example you you want to book with a hotel directly but you found a better price somewhere let's say on booking.com on expedia on uh, like jet to anywhere like you found a cheaper price that the hotel offers you so then what you can do is you can send an email to the hotel or you can call the hotel and you can say to them i want to book directly with you but you have this price for this service and the let's say booking.com has the other price like cheaper price for the same exactly the same service that you are offering me uh, if i will book with you are you able to um equal the price to the lower one that booking has and in 99.9 .9%, the hotel will send you yes because they value a lot direct direct clients trust me i know it i've spent a lot of times in reservations department in sales department on reception as a, as a manager so i know exactly how it works in the majority of cases they might say you okay book a uh, book in our website or we'll book it directly here and we will adjust you the price to the one that you've seen online even if you have the booking already directly with the hotel and then you just scroll the screen you see something and there's a cheaper price and you've booked it already with the hotel directly you can still call the hotel or send them an email and say hey i found a cheaper price for the same room the same number of nights same category everything the same please equal me the price because if not then i'll cancel and i'll book there because it's more economic and they will 100 percent help you out and equal the price and you will be able to save up some money basically these are all the tips that i can give you right now check online check direct options um use the loyalty cards that a lot of the hotels are offering you book in advance if you want to but check the cancellation conditions very important thing and then you'll be able to save up some great amount of money for your following trip to our lovely and sunny benidorm's region this was it for today my dears i hope you enjoyed watching this video i wish you a lovely day of today and i'll I'll see you very very soon in the next interesting video from Benidorm area. Bye!